Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today on another photo walk. I'm at uh, Green Springs Garden here in uh, Virginia. And uh, it's basically a public garden where they grow trees and flowers and stuff and they have a couple of gazebos. And uh, I brought my EM5 Mark III with the 75 millimeter again. Uh, as you know, I just came back from uh, uh, Riverbend Park where I took this lens out for some like woodland photography and some flower photography. So I thought I'd do a little more of the same. Hopefully I'll catch some different kinds of flowers and maybe some different trees. I'm not a botanist so I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Okay I came across uh, these flowers right here. All right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to compose this so I don't get the sign in the shot here. And just this flower I'll wait for the wind to slow down because I want to minimize any kind of motion blur. But I think um, this might be a good shot. And I'm going to dial in a negative one exposure comp on this so that the white part of the petals don't get blown out. All right, there's a tree right there with some really windy kind of trunk and um, the background doesn't seem to be too bright so I'm gonna see if I can frame this. It's a little bit too busy on top so I'm just gonna I'm gonna hone in on this on the uh, trunk and just have the top you know the busy branches there just frame it a little bit. I do want to include some of the trunk here after all and I'll just brush that sign out in Photoshop that'll be easy to do. But um, the red flowers behind this tree, I think, in black and white would be distracting. So I'm going to use a green filter to minimize those reddish flowers and just try and capture only the tree trunk. Come a little bit lower. Okay, pick my focus point on the bottom of the trunk. And I'm going to go to aperture F2. All right, let's go further down here, see what else we got. I like these flowers right here. I think this, the flowers themselves will be more like of a pattern type image rather than taking a picture of the flowers themselves. I just want the pattern that the flowers are creating being all together like this. So let's see how this looks in the 75 millimeter. And I think if I do a shallow depth of field, uh, this will be really nice. And also I like the logs laying back here, so that might be a separate shot. But for now I'm going to focus on sort of the, uh, the patterns I'm seeing here. Alright, so this is what it looks like in the 75. Yeah, that's, I think that's looking good. Now the question is, do I frame it so that flowers in front aren't focused and then they're blurry in the background or do I go full on like this? How about a vertical? No. I think I think this scene will be better. I think I think this scene will be better as a landscape. Actually from this angle with the flowers a little pointing to me a little bit will be better. And I'll pick a focus point here. Okay, I've come up on a little pond here. And I like, I like the way these vines or sticks are coming out. I think this will make a nice black and white right here. So yeah. All right, this is how it looks through the 75. And you see the green and blue from the tree and sky going to black and white, I think that'll get minimized because they're really about the same brightness. 
and then it will just have these sticks where the sun is hitting it just right. So I just need to come up with a composition that's not too busy. I like how the leaves are, I think the leaves will make a nice silhouette against the reflection of the sticks. And then, yeah, right about here. I just don't like this leaf in the center or whatever that is. <laughs> Maybe if I walk around, there we go, that's better. Yeah, something. Oh, I'm too close though. And the wind is blowing the, the leaves out of the frame. <laughs> oh, I like this right here. Right there, if the wind doesn't blow the, the leaves out of the frame, I'll be okay. These ducks just walked in front of me. I'm gonna get this first. Okay, this is the sun coming straight in, but I like these, uh, the leaves on this tree here. I might get some nice speculars or maybe a silhouette. I don't know, let's see what it looks like. I wanted to try and get maybe that water spout thing in the shot, but it's just too bright compared to the leaves. So I'm, I need to, maybe, maybe right here. No, that's not very interesting. This is better. Let's try something right in here. try and make my way over to these trees over here. Maybe do a trunk shot. Oh look, there's a Canadian geese over here. Or goose, I should say. There's another one, so it is geese. Maybe from this angle. If I get really close to them, I don't need to get too close actually. All right, look this way. <laughs> I think these, there's three trees right here. And I'm just doing the rule of odds. <laughs> I'm not trying to get too, too complicated, but. All right, I like the, the grass here underneath this tree and it's blowing. Um, so I'm gonna try and do one shot like normal and then maybe try and do a long exposure. So I have to use the tripod again, but let's see how it looks uh, with a normal shot. All right, the only thing I don't like is the street lamp right here. Um, so I don't think that can be avo avoided because I don't like the street lamp pole here either. How about, how about vertical? I'm gonna get in a little closer. And then I might be able to get, I might be able to get rid of that street lamp. Oh, nope. How about here? Yeah, maybe right here. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna try a long exposure now. So I'm gonna put my ND filter back on. Where did I put that? All right, another day out with the 75 millimeter. You know, I wasn't really happy with the images I got last time, so I had to come out again and practice some more, and hopefully I got a few keepers, but uh, 
Either way, I really appreciate you guys joining me on these photo walks, and if you like them, maybe hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel. But uh, either way, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.